Hey, right now I'm on the ferry heading over to mainland Malaysia. I just left Penang Island and I'm gonna go to the train station in Butterworth on the mainland. Then I'm gonna take a train up to Bangkok, the overnight train, for a little cityscape photography session in Bangkok. All right, we made it to the Thai border. We're at Padang Basar. It is the train station that's the last station in Malaysia and the first station in Thailand. Behind me is the new KTM electric train, the high-speed train that goes to Kuala Lumpur, but we didn't actually take that up here. We're not getting on that train. We're waiting for the overnight train, the sleeper car to Bangkok. We'll get in at about 10.30 tomorrow morning. The cool thing about this station is that half of the station is in Malaysia and half is in Thailand. So if you look behind me over there, there's a duty-free and right here is the uh, Malaysian immigration where you walk through. And then over here behind me on this side is the Thai immigration. So leave Malaysia, walk right into Thailand. So easy. So there she is. This is our train up to Bangkok. Not exactly what I expected, but as long as we get there, that's all that matters. Hey, okay, so here's the plan. I'm at the Mandarin Oriental Hotel and I'm gonna see if I can get up to the 16th floor. I saw that there's a fire escape. So I'm gonna try and go up there and walk out onto the fire escape and get a blue hour shot over the river with the boats and the bridge crossing over the river. Now it's getting dark, so I'm also gonna try and get some light streams from the boats and the cars going over the bridge. Let's see if it all works out. fun but the thing that I'm realizing is that it's really hard to record and shoot at the same time so usually when you're shooting you're just focusing on one thing and you don't have to worry about recording and telling the story and what I'm realizing the more that I make these videos is that it's really tough to um, do both at the same time so Anyways, I guess after time, I hope it'll get a little better than what it was or tonight. But anyways, this is a great ending to sit down here and listen to the piano after that nice little shoot. So that was a good way to end the night. Today I'm at the White Marble Temple in Bangkok and it's said to be one of the most beautiful temples in Thailand. It was built in 1899 and the engineers and architects were actually two Italians who imported white Carrara marble from Italy. The most popular shot that you see of this place is from this door frame here. Now, I don't have a tripod today because first, I don't want to carry it around, but anyways, I don't really need it. It's so bright out today, even though it's cloudy, it's still bright enough that I can shoot this handheld. Now, what I'm doing is I'm going to set my camera on bracket mode, auto bracket. And that way I'll take one shot, which is two stops over, two stops under, and then a neutral shot. And then I can just blend those together if I need to later on. Anyways, I can do all of that handheld. I don't need my tripod to do that.
One of the challenges with photographing popular tourist destinations is that you always have a ton of people walking around the place where you want to photograph. So to avoid that, I either try and get there really early in the morning when there's less people, or another thing is to just kind of sit and wait until people leave the, you know, the area that you're shooting or leave the frame. Uh, it takes a while, sometimes you have to wait five or ten minutes, but always there seems to be a little window where you can kind of squeeze in a shot without a bunch of people in it. <laughs> Perfect timing. The Rachata Night Market at the Culture Center MRT station is another great spot. Just look for the parking lot behind the station and go up to the fourth floor of the parking lot. There's a perfect little lookout where you can get a great shot from above. I really like this location because you have the sun setting behind the market as well. I decided to go with a 35 millimeter three tile panel for this shot. I thought it was the best way to kind of capture the whole market and also kind of keep everything kind of close or compact. One thing to remember is that the market is open from Thursday to Sunday from 6 p.m. to midnight. There's tons of food, shopping, and it's just a really great spot, so you don't want to miss it. The really strange thing about this observatory is that it's spinning, it's moving. All right, I came down one level because I want to see if I can get a longer exposure. The problem is that I have to shoot through the glass here, but what I'm going to do is use a uh, wider f-stop, so I'll shoot at f4. That way, hopefully, I won't see anything in the glass. I won't see any marks or stains from the glass. Now, I'm gonna take this shirt right here and cover it up so I don't get any reflections off the glass. Now, one thing I did was I set my timer to 10 seconds, so I'm gonna go ahead Start my timer, I have 10 seconds, and then I'm just gonna take this black shirt. And you wanna use a dark color like black, otherwise if you use yellow or red, it'll reflect off the glass sometimes. There we go, got my shot, and done. And looks okay, but it's still a little blurry. There might be some smudges or dirt on the glass, so I'm gonna move my camera around and see if I can find something, find a clearer shot. That was an awesome time in Bangkok. It's time to head home. Be sure to like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. Also, if you click right here, you can get my free Lightroom presets. And down below here, I'm gonna put some links to the different places that I visited in the video. So that's all for now. See you later.